Okay. Just uh, took in some pond water to look for some things. Sometimes you have to let the pond water sit for a couple of hours for things to settle down. And just when I was looking through it, I found <clears throat> this guy. He's pretty big. I mean, I can see him with my bare eyes. So he's he's a pretty big guy. Um, and he's just crawling around. He's some kind of larva. So I don't know exactly what kind he is, <laughs> but that's what he is. So he's probably going to grow into something else. Oh, look, there's a rotifer. So we'll look at the rotifer also. But for now, and then he's... This guy's covered all in algae, <laughs> so uh, I don't know if he's, if that's how he usually is or, or, you know, how he acts, but I'm gonna put him on dark field in a minute so we can get some light maybe over from, over the top on him, see how that works. Yeah, somebody, somebody, uh, I put him on a site earlier, uh, asked somebody and they said it does look like a mayfly. <laughs> So that's probably what it is. He's fairly big though, so he's he's big. And this is dark field where he's, he's lit from diffracted light from the top. So you can get a better idea of what he looks like in nature, I guess. The other way is when the light's coming from the bottom, you get more shadows, more of a false look, I think. And I've been busy last night. <clears throat> yeah, it's not Reddit. I came to YouTube first. <laughs> so usually I go to Reddit and then YouTube. I decided to come over to YouTube first. I am getting, I don't want to say tons of views, but I think at the beginning of the week, uh, Sunday, I was at 535 hours. Now I think I'm at 590 something. So I'm almost at 600 hours of viewing time in the last 365 days. So what's fallen off from last, from 365 days ago, I'm making, uh, making headway. So, and with these live videos, you know, if, if, if I go 20 minutes on here and five people, you know, watch it or just a few minutes of each, it all adds up. So I still need a lot of views. You need 4,000, so I'm um, a little more than an eighth of the way. So when you get 4,000 hours, they uh, send you an email, supposedly, and then you apply. Then they look at your channel and, you know, see what kind of content it is. By the time I get to 4,000, I'm going to have tons of microscope stuff. Um, I do have a lot of hours on, I had a more cowbell video, a little clip, about 60 seconds of it. And it got tons and tons of views. Now that's counted toward the 4,000 hours, but I'm hoping when they look at my channel, they don't cut those off because it wasn't my content. But I don't think they do because a lot of people use other people's content on their pages all the time. And I did see a rotifer in here and a worm. So maybe when... Uh, when we get tired of looking at this guy, I'll find that rotifer. But he's looking pretty good. When you go to dark field, you get anything that's a little out of focus, or hey, Anita, anything that's a little out of focus, you get those bubbly artifacts. See those things that look like bubbles? I'm not sure how to fix that, but. And he's got enough water in here. I have a lot of water under this slide. Uh, so he's not in any kind of pain. Actually, you can see the edge of the slide right there. I got so much water, the slide, the slide is uh, floating on top of it. Yeah, <laughs> M's art. Yeah, the cat's doing okay. Uh, she ate uh, pretty much smashed up wet kitten food with some water and she ate it up last night, so. Uh, She's not injured in any way. I'm going to the, bringing her to the vet at four o'clock. So she's not injured from being in that street or being thrown out or fell off a car, whatever she did. Uh, so she's run, like if I put her on my floor and I have three cats, I got to watch because they're not used to it yet and they're growling and snarling. But she'll run off, she'll run around. So, uh, well, I have two grown daughters. One lives here 
and we have three cats in this house. Uh, I don't know if we can handle another cat with my granddaughter. It's just a lot. So my other daughter, who's grown, she uh, lives a couple of blocks away. She has a cat that was a stray two years ago, and it's really reclusive in the house. So we're going to try both houses. Maybe it'll be a split house. There's a rotifer over there to the left. We'll look at him in a little bit. Yeah, when I had, uh, I had that dash cam for about six months and never, of course, you don't ever want to use your dash cam. You don't want to get in a wreck. But <laughs> I, I, after I got the cat, I got home and probably a couple of hours went by. I said, wait a minute, I got this on dash cam. <laughs> Yeah, Anita, I think YouTube, they just must be more established in video, in live video. So they must allow uh, a, a higher bit, bit rate going through. Um, no doubt about it. Even when I'm looking at it on my screen right now, it looks a lot better. Yeah, this is a pond, the same pond that I've been going to. Oh, you know what? Yeah, and I put, and this is pond water from about a month ago that I put in a little muddy aquarium out the back, out in the back. And every time I don't want any of my samples anymore, I'll go dump it in that aquarium, you know, and then eventually I'll go dump the aquarium in, in, in the canal or the lake or somewhere. But so there's no, really no telling where he came from. He could have came from a mud puddle, some mud or the, the, the lake, or he could, I, you know, I went to so many places, so there's no fair way for me to tell. Yeah, I, I I believe these guys could. Yeah, they he they could eat the rotifer. Yeah, I think because that's why in reality, if you're trying to raise or, or keep rotifers or stentors and and you know parame you know stuff like that, you really don't want too many crustaceans or or uh, arthropods or anything like that in your water because they'll eat them. And look, you can see, it looks like there's two Blepharisma. No, that's two rotifers. Look how little the rotifer is compared to this guy. Yeah, those are two. That's a rotifer hanging on to him. <laughs> and I don't know if this guy here is covered with bacteria or, or if, because he was like that as soon as I got him. So he's covered. But he was in a fairly big aquarium with clear water. So I, I guess that's just how he is. So he does have a rotifer stuck to his butt. And he likes to get right on the edge of that cover slide. The cover slide is actually floating. And if I look at the cover slide right now with my eye, I can't see him. It's too bright. So he's small, but he's not as small as those microscopic creatures. But every once in a while, you see a rotifer fly by. Taking a rest. I think they omnivores. I think they eat everything. I'm going to zoom out for a second. I got to get up for a minute. I got to go get my water. I'm thirsty. And it's not really creatures of that size. It's just that when you when you get to be an invertebrate like this or an insect larva, you you probably going to eat anything that comes by.
Whoop, there you go. Took off. <laughs> Uh oh, I'm lost. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Anybody? He went up. Let's see. I'll go through the systematic search. <laughs> Here's how you gotta look for stuff. You start at the edge, you go up, you go over, up, oh, there he is. If you don't search systematically, you're doomed. Now I lost my glasses. <laughs> so he's right on the edge of that cover slip, right on the edge of dry land. And I do have some kind of... So he's doing really good in dark field. I mean, yeah, sometimes dark field and phase contrast, they don't do well for things like this, but he's doing pretty good. I don't know how he would look in polarized light. So I'll try polarized light in a minute. And I have a few people here. I'm getting ready to, I'm trying to grow this channel, of course. So I'm trying to get to those 4,000 hours, been reading how you do it. You got to get people to stay on, you know, for, for 10 minutes or so and be active with your channel. So what I'm doing is I'm putting together like a 15, I'm going to start doing this, making little quizzes on these guys. And I'm going to use pictures from all my videos and, and videos from my personal videos on them. I'm not going to buy any stock footage or anything like that. And I'm gonna make a quiz and I'm just gonna put it on. And then, you know, you'll have five or 10 seconds to answer. And then everybody will post their, their results in the comments, you know? So by that if, that, if the video to quiz is 10 minutes, look what happens. You get, you know, if, if 100 people do the quiz and they on there for 10 minutes, do the math. So that's how it works. Yeah, this is an insect larva. Somebody says it sounds like a, a mayfly a mayfly lava, and some two people told me that, so it could be. I just came across him uh, in my little aquarium with dirt and mud in it, so I, there's no way for me to tell. Yeah, and also what I'm gonna do is, I wanted to do a, uh, well, I'll save that as a secret. I don't wanna give away all my secrets. Because <laughs> uh, other people are gonna watch this video, I don't want people to jump the gun. But yeah, everybody does quizzes on their content, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna add a drop of water to the outside. So you can see when I add the water, look what it does. All right, that guy right here is probably a Cyclops, this guy. And they're pretty good, cool to watch on their own. But look how little he is compared to this giant. And the reason he's called a Cyclops, yeah. Oh, he is kind of late. Yeah, well, he was in he was in an aquarium. Every time I'm I'm finished with my samples, no matter where I get them from, I go pour them into this aquarium in the backyard, about ten gallons, and I'll uh, when it gets about three quarters of the way full, I'll bring it and dump it in a, the. We have these freshwater canals nearby. I'll put it in there, or I'll put it in the lake, or I'll put it in a pond and start over. So, and I have to cover that with a screen so mosquito larvae don't get in it. And so, yeah, so he, he was, he's been in there probably covered up. So he didn't come from the air. He's, he could have been, you know, an egg for a while. Well, he's getting out. This guy's escaping. Where you going, man? You're not going to be able to get back under there. That drop of water I just added to the side, he decided he wants to go into that. Yeah, this is right here. This is just about 40, uh, 60. This is 60 right here. So 
So this guy just got out from under the slide. That's a little piece of a duckweed. So now he's in a little slightly deeper water. See how he can't move around now? Because <laughs> he can't grip the bottom. Let me, yeah, he's trying to run away. Let me, while he's stuck here, I'm going to put on polarized light and see what we can see here. Let's see if he has any minerals in him or starches or anything like that. Yeah, this is dark field and polarized. So we're getting a little complicated here. But with dark field and polarized, you could see it looks like his legs contain that could be muscle like uh, in tartar bears, a uh, tartar bears, tartar grades, water bears, their jaw muscle or this little, it's not a bone, but it's a, we call it, I got, I'll call it a jaw muscle. It glows like that white. So this guy, you might be seeing his muscles in his legs on polarized light. So watch, I'm gonna take off the dark field and just go to polarized. So this is just polarized light, not dark field. And you can see how it brightens up around his legs. So there's something in his legs that is a little different than the rest of his body. Usually that starch or minerals or in a tardigrades, you know, world, it, it's his jaws. So... This is pretty good to look at him through polarized light. And I was surprised that we could see him through dark field and polarized light. Usually those two don't work good together. And I'm just, I'm just closing the aperture down, give you some different idea. So you lose, you know, you lose his body part, but now you can see more of what's polarized in him. Isn't that something? <laughs> And I could go to some of these filters. Remember, YouTube has filters, cool filters. Let me let me try one. Dawn, bubbles. Oh no! Look, he's swimming. Dance. <laughs> Here's eight millimeter. Remember this? Who was here the other day? This is how this is how things looked under microscopes in the twenties, <laughs> in the nineteen twenties. <laughs> Silver. This one was really cool last time, Haunt. So now we got dark field. I mean, now we got polarized light with Haunt. So he does look like a monster. <laughs> then we got Sketch. I can even draw him here. Look at that. <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah. Where, where's my, I, I love that eight millimeter. Where is it at? And I made that little joke the other day. There he is. This is how your grandparents saw, saw the uh, protest world. <laughs> so when you do polarized light, the eight millimeter goes. But there it is. So ask, next time, show, you, show your grandparents this. And, and ask them if this is how they look through the microscope, if this is how it looked. And I'm back to dark field with eight millimeter. <laughs> so let me get off of this. Dark, dawn. I mean, they, they have some good stuff, you know, mostly for fun though, uh, and normal. So, so there he is, let's see if I can. Let me try to digital zoom on him. This is digital zoom. Let me uh, let me try to get him under a hundred x. So this would be a hundred and fifty with a true, with a an objective lens. So this is a hundred and fifty without digital zoom. So now he's just dog paddling. 
he had it under the slide. He was getting good. He looked like he was having an easier time under the slide. So that's a little too big. So with digital zoom, when I pinch in with my fingers, I have more control over it. So, so this is digital zoom. That still looks pretty good on the iPhone. Yep, you can see his eyes, that's for sure. Looks like he has a red nose. <laughs> yeah, he 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 just decided he's not in any trouble out here. He just can't grip anymore. And that's what he was doing in the water when I got him. You know, I had him in deep water and he was swimming around. What is this right here? This is a cyclops. It's got one eye over here. Rudolph, there you go. Oh, there's one of my, right, I'll tell you what that is. Let me, let me, let me get off dark field, okay? So this guy right here, he's a cyclops. And if you get him in polarized light, some of these, their middle eye, their, their, their single eye will glow. Yeah, that's right, copepods. And if you look, if he would have a turn straight, yeah, you see his one eye right there? Let me get let me get polarized and see if if that's the one that his eye glows. Hang on. Yep, there it is. Look. Yeah, that's good. Now, if I can get him to hold still. Yeah, you mean if it's if it's if the water's polluted or anything? Yeah. So he's got some either minerals in him or a lot of starch, but that eye, for some reason, and I don't know why, it glows red under polarized light. Some of them don't. If you find the wrong one, it don't. And they never stay still, so. And if you notice, look in the background, you can see tiny, tiny things swimming around in polarized light that I don't think you'd be able to see without polarized light, because they'd be too small. But yeah, this guy, he he has a uh, red eye in polarized light. Even if you lift the polarized light a little bit, come on, dude. Yeah, good, yeah, because if you always want to see creatures in your water, that's for sure. If you're pulling out pond water and you don't see anything like this in pond water, <clears throat> One of two things, they feed in chlorine into it or it's polluted some other way. Because some ponds, small ponds in the city, they'll dump chlorine into it, pump, you know, pump fresh city, not on purpose, but they'll put fresh water in it to fill it or clean it and then the chlorine gets in it. Yeah, and these guys never stop, so I'm gonna stay with him about another minute. I could put some thickener in here, but I, you know, he's big enough where you don't need it. I got this non-toxic uh, methyl cellulose and it just thickens the water a little bit and they can't move around. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's good. I never did get into that. I always wanted to do, uh, I, I actually, when I was in college, this was years ago, I, I think I signed up to intern at some kind of water testing thing. I didn't get that. Instead, I worked at the Food and Drug Administration. <laughs> so now we're at back out to 60 times. Yeah, so let me go find something else because I'm tired of chasing him around. Here's our buddy again. Oh, this is a... All right, this is a aliosoma, I believe he's called... No, that's how he moves, Tracy. <laughs> he moves like that. You can believe that. Yep. Okay, got a paramecium on here. That's good. And you got, so right here in this frame right here, we got a paramecium, an aliosoma, which is a worm. And this right here is a testate amoeba. There's an amoeba inside that tiny thing. If y'all been with me a while, you know that. 
Yeah, Tracy, I, 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 this stream goes pretty slow because I don't have a ton of people here, but uh, I try to answer every question that pops up. Um, on Reddit, sometimes you get five, 6,000 people and it's just rolling by. You just got to glance and answer one, glance and answer it. Yeah, those uh, copepods, they, they move in jerky motions like that. And this guy looks like he's covered in a little algae and bacteria too, so. Let me see if we can, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, he is an analid. He's, uh, yeah, Nick, no doubt. He's, he's an uh, analid like, like an earthworm is, and he's not harmful. He's actually one of the friendly ones. So most analids are. It's when you get to those round worms, nematodes, where you get some uh, parasites. Okay, this right here, let me take the polarizer off. I don't know, I don't know how, why, how they can't clean it off of themselves. I, I think in, they, they live in so much goop that, and they got CT and, and they, they, they secrete, uh, I guess little thing, oil I, to help them move. And that CT, if you look, you could see those little spiky things coming off of them. And they just uh, gather it. Yeah. And, and look, this one right here, if you look really good, these things divide long ways, okay? So this one actually has another one growing off of him, uh, a division right there. You probably can't notice it, but... It's another head holding on right there. And as he grows, that head will get more and more defined. And sorry for the, for the clone on the back, but he's got to eat poop until he dislodges. <laughs> so, so that's a good way to, that's a good reason to want to leave home. That's the top of a duckweed. And I have this little guy, this must be, this is a, I forgot his name, but he's a tiny, tiny rotifer right here. So rotifers are multi-celled creatures just like that worm we saw. And he's hiding out pretty good here. And YouTube for some reason won't let me control my own camera. So it, it wants to autofocus my phone. So I am starting to see some rotifers come to life. Let me look for that test state amoeba and see if we could see any pseudopods on them. Ah, I lost them. There he is. Okay, let me go to 100. What this is, this is an amoeba that actually, I guess the evolution or whatever, learned to make a shell or born with a shell. So if you look, let's see if we can see you actually see, let me see if I can, you, if you look right around the edges, and maybe we'll try dark field in a minute, sometimes you'll see his feet come out, his pseudopods. And he's moving, so, but he's moving slow. And so his pseudopods are underneath. You can't see him. But watch, you'll see one, and I'll try to point it out. So that's the amoeba inside of this shell right here, all right? And, and he protects himself like that. Let's see if it's moving. So my water's pretty still. Yeah, it looks like it's moving to the, I guess would be to, to seven o'clock position. He's moving towards seven o'clock. Let me try to dark field him, see what he looks like. Eh, eh, not, not, not too good. You know, not too good for what we're trying to accomplish here. Because we're trying to see the outside of him, where his pseudopods would be. So we, we're not going to use dark field on this guy. And here's another one over here. It's strange, I have a lot of these amoebas in that tank for some reason. 
Yeah, look, you can see his, if you look at the seven o'clock position or maybe 6.30 position, you can see that little thing hanging out. I think that's one of his feet or a pseudopod. Could be wrong, but you, man, when you see them, they, they stand out. Sometimes you have to go out of focus, in focus. I don't think that's one though. I don't, I think that's just a piece of dirt or something. So if we see, look, he's going after some bacteria right there. See that little tiny, tiny bacteria. Yeah, that's something moving with it. So he just rolled over a bacteria. That, well, wait here, is that it? Yeah, look at those two little things at the seven o'clock position. Keep, keep your eye on those, see if they grow or go in. Yeah, see how they went in? So he's using those to push himself. Hey, thanks, Archie. <laughs> I didn't push, post this on Reddit yet, so yeah. Uh, no, that wasn't a pseudopod, he's just rolling over stuff. Well, usually you could see him. Hmm. So he's moving, but he don't want to stick his feet out. And this is extremely tiny. This is probably, let's see, it was a 150, and I got 3x, 150, 300, 450. So this is 600 right here. And 300 of it are... 450 of it is digital zoom. Yeah, there's a pseudopod for sure. No, it's not, is it? Look up at the 11 o'clock position. Let's see if that disconnects. Nope, that was just something he's dragging around. Yeah, they, no, these, these are kind of flat. They're flat. When, they, when, when a breeze comes by or when the water starts moving, like if you move the water, you'll see them. They can go edge on and they're hard to see. Uh, I'm not, I don't know, I think that's just a piece of dirt he's, he's carrying around with him. Let me see what he looks like in polarized light. Uh-oh. What did I do? Oh, I know. Too much zoom. <laughs> Hang on. So that's one polarizer, which means nothing. So there you go. So that's new to me. So this is him. So there you go. Um, this is 150X in polarized light. And you're getting some blur and stuff from the, from the lens, maybe some reflections. But look at them. So around the edges, that's where polarized light, I'm no expert in it. You can look it up. But in my microscopy, it, it'll reflect starches like sugars and minerals. So this guy, you could see right in the middle part, that's the amoeba. And that's the starchy part. I mean, maybe minerals that he consumed uh, or something. So, but I don't know why it's so blurry. Uh, maybe I got some blur on my, or too much zoom. Let's go back out. Yeah, it looks like he's under something. See this big thing, whatever that is. He's on a crack or something on my slide, and it's just being obscured. So um, let me try to let me try to nudge him with a drop of water. I'm gonna try to nudge him out of there because he's really in a bad spot. He 
Yeah, I mean, he's in really bad, so he's under something. Let me see. Can I focus anywhere else? Yeah, look how good my folk. That's decent, so he's under something. Let me see if I can move him. All right, let's see what we got here. So he was blurred, and usually, you know, if they get under something, the, whatever they under will be where you can't see it. Let me see if I can get it. Okay, now this is not polarized, and God, I'd like to, I have to read up on YouTube because it just wants to keep auto-focusing, and it's bugging me. So, that's him. I'm going to go try to find something else. Let me, I'm going to get him in polarized light one more time, and you can see we, we succeeded in getting him out from under what, whatever he was <laughs> uh, laying under, <laughs> so... And if you see, you see these little bugs, well, bugs, these little protists swimming inside of him? Well, he's going to grab those one time. And if you look, boy, you're going to really stretch. If you see around the edge of him, inside the circle, you could see his pseudopods sticking there. <clears throat> so I'm going to put polarized light on one more time and see we get a little clearer view here. Well, I guess it would help if I cleaned our polarizer off here. So, <laughs> we did a good job. Okay, hang on. My slide's moving in the background, but I cannot find it. Wow. Okay. I didn't know the polarizer took that much off. Okay. Let me, uh, let me find them again. This is part of it. So, oh, and you can see, I got some, looks like water on top of my slide here. So here he is. I'm going to go to 150. So we still got a good good view of him here. So now I'm gonna try to polarize him and see what we get. So that's a, I'm gonna look that up because that's a good observation right here. I'm gonna come back and snap some videos of this. It's, it's not sharp at all, okay? But notice what you could see, it, almost in four, perfectly placed spots, there's some minerals or starch. And right in the middle, you can see that he has minerals inside of him or some starch. So not much to look at, but you can learn a lot from this right there. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to take the polarizers off altogether. Refocus. Stop down the aperture. You're always moving your hands in this thing. You're always adjusting stuff. Yeah, yeah, it could be silica, calcium carbonate. Uh, some, there's one kind of algae. Oh boy, I forgot the name of it. That has uh, gypsum in each side of it, about nine pellets of gypsum. I'll show you that. Uh, I had that on a couple of days ago and it's amazing. And the gypsum moves around too. So that's a little weird. <laughs> so uh, I'm at, let's see who this is. All right, this is a Euplotes at 150. And boy, is my sl slide dirty. <laughs> Hang on. So I got a lot of... Yeah, I just use general words. Sometimes I'll use she, but they, uh, amoebas are neither. Uh, this Euplotes is neither. Uh, I think you got to get up, you know, into the animals. Uh, like water bears, they have males and females.
And so this guy is pretty good to look at when he stands still, but he's not going to behave. Yeah, it looks like he has a mustache up there. And I just saw some bacteria. See the bacteria? Well, not anymore. I'd have to get to a little pile of bacteria for you to see that. See those, those water drops? That's actually on my cover slide. And when you have that stuff on your cover slide, everything under it's going to be messed up. So, or not as clear. So that's why you're seeing this. And eh, kind of, kind of dull. And I wish YouTube would stop trying to focus my camera. Oh, look, this is a shell. This is somebody that shed. Okay, this this guy or she. I'll start using both, but she molted. So this looks like one of those rotifers that actually uh, shed its skin. And somebody can check me on that, but I'm pretty sure they do molt. And I even think water bears molt also. But look at that. That's, that's perfect. And I'm always moving around trying to, trying to look at different things in different ways. Let me see if... So this is... You see, it doesn't have... I mean, it's just a tiny bit. So, go here. Yeah, it does look like the bat plane. And what I'll do is I'll go back, you know, to get. Uh, I don't know what they do with the shell. I don't think these are. I'd have to look it up, but uh, bacteria will eventually get it. Uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, bacteria is going to break this down. There's no way that this is gonna stay the same size and shape. If it did stay the same size and shape and didn't break down, you'd be, uh, you know, elbow deep in them. <laughs> so thank God for the uh, bacteria. And if you look, I bet you if we zoom in enough, we might be able to see some bacteria starting to do what it does. Let's see. Uh, not, not yet. I don't see. Now there's probably bacteria on there, but it's the kind that I can't see. So yeah, and what I'll do is I learned on YouTube, I used to just throw videos on and didn't do any thumbnails or anything. Well now, knowing how YouTube works and how you got to get people to watch and things like that, you got to take a good part of your video, make a thumbnail, put a title on it. So this guy's gonna be my thumbnail <laughs> right here. And I'll capture him later. So that's a good thumbnail right there. Even though it's not moving and alive, it's a, it'll draw people's attention. Oh, Paramecium, look, he's gonna be a good boy. Good girl, good boy. Well, let's see. Yeah, but, and I think, I think on that last question, I don't think anybody else, any other thing could live in it. So uh, this one's being really good here for us. So let's watch him for a little while. Look, right, you can see a contractile vacuole, like maybe at the middle nine o'clock. Okay, yeah, bad please. But look at this contractual vac vacuole closes and opens right there, maybe at the, there you go. See how it closes and opens? And I don't know the function on it, but. Now, if you, if you polarize this guy, he, he, usually you can see all kind of, look, you can see his minerals are concentrated in the back of him. See how they start to glow? So that, I believe, well, that's what I call the back of him. The front is up there where I'm focusing now. Kind of in the middle, top middle is what you'd call the front. That's where his mouth parts are, I guess you would call them. 
But look how it glows in polarized light. Let me get my hand off the table so I can leave it without it flowing. And I am, you know, make sure, you know, watch some of my videos. Whoever was, this, I'm going to run this video for about 10 more minutes for, for an even hour. And then, you know, hopefully other people come watch 10 minutes of it. Um, you can't edit it once, once it's on. So, uh, you know, people aren't going to come and watch the whole hour. But if, let's say if three people were with me and watched this whole hour, that's three hours of viewing time. So that's good. So I'm trying to get to 4,000. Yeah, so, so Archie there, so Osmo regulation. So that must be what pumps water in and out of him so he doesn't explode <laughs> or collapse. And then you have And then you have food vacuoles. Where did he go? He, he, he moved. Then you have food vacuoles that digest food. Uh, so that's a little different than that contractual one. But if you look, that contractual one's always working. Yeah, it's good to have somebody researching for you because I have a biology degree, but... I did all my memorizing 20 years ago, and it is just, I mean, unless this channel grows so much and people really want me to narrate with, you know, facts, 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 I'm not going to go learn everything again. I, I, it, you know, it wasn't fun back then. <laughs> now, if I get a lot of visitors and I'm making some money and they say, Hey, we like your narration. We want you to know everything about the thing you stream. You damn right. <laughs> yeah, Archie, I uh, that's good. So you're gonna have a lot of memorization and way more. My four hardest classes were organic chemistry one, two, three, and four. And I wasn't even a medical student, and I took those four classes, and they they happened the last two years, I think. And boy, it was rough. <laughs> so. so you can really see this guy or gal. Really, I don't know. I don't think anybody's offended by me saying guy or gal. <laughs> so. And look, you can see stuff in the background, somebody moving by. That was a rotifer. Yeah? Yeah, well, I didn't have any, uh, what is P-chem exactly? Is that uh, physical chemistry? What is that? I don't even know. I mean, that, that organic chemistry with all those memorizing what? Yeah, thanks, caribou. <laughs> Some people get offended and it drives me crazy because I, I'm a normal person. You know, I, I don't I don't say I don't make fun of anybody or anything like that. But if I if I call something, you know, if I call a, a bug a he and somebody says, you know, you stop doing that, it just uh it it just aggravates me. <laughs> so Yeah, uh organic chemistry, you had to memorize all these reactions with carbon and you know if you pour this kind of reagent in it what what you know and he'd put one on the board and put the what it started with and what it ended and you had to draw the you had to draw the uh the resulting uh molecule geez i'm getting chills just thinking about it yeah so all of a sudden some uh yeah, I am. I mean, go look at my cat video. I almost got, I didn't put in the video what I did to get that kitty cat yesterday. What I actually did is, if you look at the video, I hurriedly, I mean, I swerved to miss it. It was, I was on it before I saw it. It looked like a cup, looked like a paper cup. And I swerved and went about a hundred feet, pulled over, was careful. But then cars were, they had cars oncoming. 
And I said, I, the only way I'm going to save this cat is if I get out in the middle of the street. I didn't put that on my YouTube because people are going to start yelling, you idiot, you're going to cause a car accident. I, I'm not a fool. I wasn't going to cause an accident. But I had to actually get out in the middle of the street and put my hands up in the air and wave. And then they stop, stopped. As soon as they saw somebody there, they stopped. And then when I got to the cat, it meowed once, and I picked it up. And everybody in the cars, they had two people came back around into the parking lot and they were clapping and people were going by clapping <laughs> clapping their hands and I, and I get the cat yeah go look at that video it's pretty interesting it's the first time I was ever able to use my uh 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 what is it called dash cam yeah good caribou yeah I know I, I do tend to say he all the time, even with the cat, uh, I kept saying he, 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 and guess what? It's a she. <laughs> yeah, I got the cat. I'm bringing the, the cat to the vet at four o'clock to be checked out. Uh, I think we're going to share it. My, my, one of my oldest daughters lives with us and we have three cats and she wants to keep it here. And then my oldest daughter, she lives a couple of blocks away and she has one cat that's pretty, pretty much a loner. And we're going to try it there, too. So we, it's probably going to have dual homes. Uh, and, you know, that's what we have to do. Because we ca I really can't have another cat in the house. You know, my house is pretty fairly sized, but it, it's starting to get, you know, if you, don't, if you forget to clean the litter box one day, you get the smell and all. And, you know, so, uh, you know, cats are resilient. If, if it visits one place for a week and then comes three blocks away, uh, They'll be okay. Yeah, three is rough, especially if they didn't all grow up together. They have different personalities. You know, one barks at one fights with one, the other one won't fight with that one. This one chews on this one, so it's a fight. Yeah, that cat, uh, that cat might pay off because I, I, I didn't realize I had the webcam. And I said, you know, last night, I, my wife said, well, how'd you find him if you couldn't see him? I said, I don't know. I wish I could show you. And I said, wait a minute. I can show you. I went out and got my video. And uh, she said, you ought to put that on your channel. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'll put that on. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they live on cats. Yeah, microorganisms live on everything. Uh, bacteria first and foremost, but oh yeah, you probably have mites and tiny mites and things like that live all over cats. And as a matter of fact, if you go look back at my history of, of on Reddit, I probably started streaming Reddit six weeks ago. And remember, I always had a microscope and I've always been looking through it and stuff, but I never did really say, you know what, I'm a, I'm a go out and I'm a make a channel, I'm gonna make some money from it, I'm gonna solicit donations for equipment, until uh, my wife said, she, she saw some white things on the floor, little white things, look like dandruff, and she said, I think one of the cats has fleas, because if you have cats, if the fleas die, when they do die, they fall off and they're white. So, and I said, I don't think that, I think that's just dust or skin or something from the cats, and she said, I don't know. You're going to have to bring it to the vet and you know, put flea stuff on it. I said, no, give me, I got some scotch tape and I put some tape on the ground, got a pile of them on the tape. And guess what I did? Put them under the microscope and you could see they were skin cells. And you can even see the skin cell had a hole in it where the cat hair went through. So I diagnosed the cat. Yeah. Yeah, Nick, there's a, uh, oh, 12 cats, Sabina. Whew. Yeah, so on cats, yeah, you, you, you know, there's so much, so much you could get. I mean, every time I go, and you got to realize, every time I go to the doctor, I guarantee you on this cat, I'm not going to do it, but the vet's going to do it. You know what they're going to do? They're going to dig in her ear with a Q-tip, and they're going to put it under the microscope. They're going to see if there's any eggs in there. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, if I went to that cat right now and put a little Q-tip in her ear and came back, you would see something on it. I mean, there's no doubt that cat has some mites in his ear. And doctor will put drip, drip. I might do that. Uh, the cat's pretty calm. Maybe I'll, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, it goes to the vet and gets the fleas. Yeah, that might be a good project. Maybe I will, and I'll post another video. Here's, here's what I'm paying for, uh, mite removal. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so remember, I'm here to build this channel and, and hopefully uh, monetize it. Uh, in the meantime, go check me out. Uh, you can, until then, I have a donation page on there. You can look at my profile and see if you want to throw a couple of bucks to the scientists here. Um, but what would really help is if you put one of those playlists on play and let it play. <laughs> so, you know, uh, that, would be, that would be sweet. If you can watch all my videos, you know, even if you have to get up, if you put a four-hour playlist on and let it play while you're cooking dinner or, or doing something, you know, and you glance at it, I'd appreciate that. That would get my, my hours up to 4,000. Uh, Tracy, I don't, I don't think, I, I don't think just brushing them would, would see if they're healthy. If you got a stray like this, this cat that I have, I don't even think it has fleas. I look pretty good and I don't even think she has fleas. So, but, uh, but what, what I can do, I brush it. But if your cat's healthy and it doesn't have any skin irritation or infections, probably brushing the skin off under, I mean, brushing the hair off under a light microscope like this, you're probably not gonna see anything. Now under an electron microscope, yes, you'll see stuff. Oh good, caribou, yeah. <laughs> Tell people passing by, this is Ken Skid's uh, video. So, what's, so thanks a lot for that. I'm gonna end this in a few minutes because I'm gonna go actually eat. And I got to pick up my granddaughter in a little while. So what what this does is, even I didn't stream this on Reddit. I'll stream on Reddit later because that's how I get a lot of YouTube subscribers. So what I'll do is this one, it looks like eight or nine people stayed here for a long time with me today. So that's going to add a bunch of hours. Uh, that's going to add a bunch of hours to today. And then let's say you take the three more that other people watch other things and like, I think yesterday I gained uh, 14 hours. Oh, they will? All right, well, yeah, just, that's what I said. Put it on. If, if others can watch it, go ahead and watch it. But it, it is what it is. Playlists are there for a reason. It's so somebody can put a playlist on and not have to click to the next video. And, you know, I watch videos all the time of science stuff and, and, science debunkers and stuff like that and i'll sit there and play for hours and get up and come back and it's still playing i gotta rewind it so yeah cheating they're never gonna allow that but look just putting a playlist on and watching it while you're cooking or walking around the house that i, I can't imagine you know uh they'll frown on that but you're right they strict and as a matter of fact when they uh when they come check your page okay uh, like after, yeah, I mean, I do it too. So if you got a channel that's interesting, that's how they make a lot of money. These people, if you got a channel that's interesting and the playlist is interesting, people will put it on and just let it play. I mean, they'll just do it and it gets thousands of, of views, hundreds of thousands, millions. So what YouTube does and Google, they'll, after I get the 4,000 hours, they'll check my channel. They'll, they'll supposedly look at it and say, okay, where are these coming from? Are most of these hours good content that he created? Are people interacting with them? Things like that. Because I believe if you put bad content on, like, like I got a video that I put on last year, maybe two years ago, called More Cowbell, you know, from the Saturday Night Live skit. Well, I just put it on there because I like it. Well, last year, something with Fortnite I'm not a big Fortnite player or anything, but something, all of a sudden, I started getting YouTube messages and my channel was exploding. And I said, what is going on? And somebody said, oh, they mentioned Cowbell. They, 
they mentioned cowbell on on Fortnite or something. More cowbell, and everybody came to my page. So what's good and bad about that? At this point, that's I got 600 hours of of uh, viewing time in the last uh, what 365 days, and that accounts for about 300 of it. So hopefully they'll use that too. Yeah, that 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 big thing you saw that was a a piece of duckweed. Here's 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 a piece of duckweed that's just starting to deteriorate. And if you look, you can see the individual chloroplast in it. I believe that's duckweed. Hang on. Yeah, I believe that's a piece of duckweed. Let me let me see if I. Uh, oh wow, look at this. Oh, there's that copepod. Check him out. Oh, this might be my, this is going to be my uh, thumbnail. There you go. Watch, I'm going to polarize and watch. This is called a Cyclops. And watch, you'll see why it's called a Cyclops in a minute. Anybody know why they call it a Cyclops? <laughs> yeah, the water's getting a little thin, so what I'm going to do it, <laughs> yeah, he is one. I'm going to add a little drop of water to the outside. Try to get osmosis to bring it in. I don't I don't like to kill any of my creatures here. Let me add another one, because I'll put him back in the water. So I'm going to add another drop. One bad thing about it is you'll lose them. Yeah, you see he's got enough water. See it flowing by him? So I, I'm not concerned about him. So he's got enough water. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he, just, he just said, wait a minute, I feel water. Where's my polarized paper? Look at him. Boy, is he cool? Let me see. I got a piece of polarized film here instead of the circular. Let me see if this does any better. Whoops. Yeah, that was cool. So this is with polarized. I got a piece of $3 polarized film on the bottom of it. And it gives you a little more darker background, but it gets a little blurry. So, you know, give or take. So this is about a good, happy medium right here. See how it's got your polarized creature with a white background? So this is about a medium show right here. So this is really nice here. Let me, uh, you want to see them bigger? Let's see. Just think I was going to end this at an hour, but since he's being so cooperative, I'm going to stay here. And yeah, he's a copepod. Uh, you can look at him like a crustacean and it's called the Cyclops. Yeah, and if you remember... This guy was moving around, jumping around. Maybe he's tired. She, he, <laughs> whatever you are. So what'll, uh, you know, but you can see there's more than enough water in there. And look, I don't know, you ever see those crystal clear pictures? People take a microscope stuff, not electron microscopes, but microscopes like this, and you'll see a clear picture. What's happening is this is so zoomed in that, uh, you can only focus one part of him at a time. Yeah, I don't know, Archie. 
because I don't know, they just are. But you can only focus one part at a time. So what you do is to get a to get a uh, group of small crustaceans found nearly half. Yeah, these are found in everyone. You can go out in your backyard if you have a puddle back there. If they if you have birds come in your yard in a puddle, you probably have these. But you can see I can focus on his eye and well, there goes a euglena right there. That's a that's an algae spinning around <laughs> over there. So this is gonna, I'm gonna use this for my thumbnail. You know, I'm gonna take a little picture of it. Yeah, so, and one thing also about Google in the 4,000 hours, um, I, it took me a little while to find out, but, uh, Wait, I'll answer your caribou in a minute. It took me a few minutes to, to find, a little while to find out, but live stream views are counted toward the 4,000 hours. So anybody that's been here an hour contributed one hour. If I had eight people here for a half hour, that's four hours. So that's good. So thanks for coming. Yeah, uh, caribou, you can, you can look that up. Uh, electron microscopes are achievable if you want to crowdsource. I'm talking you know, $100,000 more, depending on what you get, less depending on what you get. But, and I, I research everything, you know, my, my goal is a, a differential interference contrast microscope, and I'm going for a year on that. That's 12 grand. If I can collect six grand and from donations and YouTube, uh, I'll borrow 6,000 because my car's gonna be paid off, I'm in good shape. I'll borrow 6,000 and invest in a DIC microscope and it's a game changer. Electron microscopes, you, you could buy them. They're not big, I always thought they were as big as a room, but they'll fit on a table. Yes, and electron microscopes need something to be prepared, yep. Uh, I'm not sure how, but you can't put this guy under electron microscope. <laughs> you could, but you'd have to uh, knock him out and have him sitting still. It actually, you know, right now you're looking at photons being reflected back up into your eye. Electron, and, and photons are big, and so they can only detail so much, all right? Electrons are 100,000 times smaller than a photon, so they can bounce off of smaller things, you know, and detail those things. Yeah, Daniel, I, I was surprised. I, I, you know, electron microscope, electron, but if you look them up, you can see them. They're as big as a ice chest. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're as big as an ice chest, some of them. And I was looking at it, you know, crowdfunding is, is a thing. And, you know, I, I, I straight out tell you, you know, give me a donation. Okay. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're donating to my cause here, you know, to buy equipment, but crowdfunding, you say, okay, Hey, I want to buy a DIC microscope and here's the goal. And you show them what the goal is. I have a thousand dollars of my own money. Here's what you gave me, 250. And you, you crowdsource them. When it gets to 12000 you better make damn sure you go out and buy that DSC microscope or you're going to have your fans at your house <laughs> banging your door down. So it's a thing. So that's my next goal, DIC. Differential interference contrast. It has nothing to do with the wavelengths or the smaller light or protons or anything like that. What it does is it bends the light in such a way, it bends the light in such a way that it, it makes beautiful contrast. Like, look it up. There's a, there's a channel, I can't think of the name, that does it. And he actually crowdsourced for a DIC. That's my goal. I mean, it makes this look like toys, you know, like a toy. So let's see. Somebody just put something. Let's see. Yeah, electron microscope. Yeah, that's what it does. Um, 
Uh, wait, let's see, author here, let's see. I'd be more interested in seeing you visit and interview an existing lab user of one. Your voice is preserved. Yeah, I, I might do that also. Um, you, you can, and then, like, if you, if, if you have a DIC microscope and, and you know how to use it and you get notes, you are going to have hundreds of thousands of visitors, okay, and subscribers to your channel. That is a given. That's going to happen. That's going to make you big time. You know why? Because everybody, nobody else, you know, you, you, you only have a few people, handful of people. Most people that own those are researchers. They're not YouTube streamers. <laughs> so so it, it, it puts you in a class almost by yourself. Uh, I'm not sure, Archie, how, how it does it, but it fires electrons. Look up, look up this for me. How, how much smaller is an electron than a photon? A photon, not a proton. And, and when electrons bounce off of something, if they're trying to make a picture uh, of this guy, okay? Well, you can see they're bouncing off of him, and they can, they can distinguish that he's a shape, and he's got those two shapes back there, and it goes down to this point down here. But the electrons are too big to see his cellular structure. Well, he, you know, he, because he has cellular structure. This is a multi-celled creature right here. But you cannot see those with this. It, the photons are too big, and you get a blur, okay? Yeah, electron microscope. Yeah, so... They use electrons to build their picture instead of light. But I, I, you know, other than the cost, I immediately ditched that idea because I, I love moving stuff. You know, I, I like videos on YouTube. It's all video driven. You know, uh, you know. So I said, well, look, I don't want to. I don't want something where I have to go out. And, and prepare a slide for half a day and put it in there and get it. And then what I'm going to do, post it? Okay, well, everybody, you know, I can guarantee you, look up Cyclops, Copepod, electron microscope, and there's probably a hundred of them. They're starting to move around a little more. That's right, that's right. You can see some uh, electron microscopes that are, are just the way they came out of the microscope. Hey, somebody just said hello. Hey, Toribio, Tor, Toribio. Yeah, Jeffrey, is that the is that my uh, water bed? At uh, I'm not sure. Y'all name everything. I think that's the was that the water bed that I lost. <laughs> I still have the water. I add water to it every day, but I don't see any hatching water bear eggs. <laughs> Let me see what a filter of this guy looks like. Oh, the snail. Oh, yeah, I still have him. <laughs> He's crawling around in a covered Petri dish. But uh, I was looking at him this morning. He's moving kind of slow. So I, I went and put him back in his big tank. So I'm not going to be able to find that particular snail. All right, who's with me? This is little known fact for the people who just got here. This is how your uh, grandma and grandpa had to look at microscopes in eight millimeter. <laughs> I like YouTube's filters. They, they are really cool. Anybody else like that? Let's see, Haunt. Remember who was with me the other day when we were using Haunt? Haunt was pretty cool. I mean, look at that. <laughs> yeah, somebody somebody laughing at my uh, <laughs> jokes. I love that. I made that up. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of that joke. Sketch is pretty cool too. If I wanna, uh, if I wanna sketch something, oh. Oh shoot, let me let me go back. I just knocked my polarizing paper off. Hey Uber Nick. Man, I got a lot of people coming kind of late. That's cool. 
I was about to end this this stream, but now I got a, a lot of people coming, so I'm gonna keep it going. I'm not proud. I'll stream for you know get viewers. I gotta go. I gotta eat. I gotta pick up my granddaughter, but I got an hour to spare. We had a good copepod, a cyclops on here. Let me try to go down power and find him. There he is. Yeah, I'm all right. I, I, I usually eat almonds and stuff. As a matter of fact, I got up a couple of times and uh, got a mouthful of almonds. Uh, when I have to chew them in the kitchen so y'all don't hear me because it kind of gets annoying. But yeah, here's a, this guy for the new people. And the reason why it keeps going in and out is YouTube is for some reason likes control of my uh, focus. Maybe I'll eat a copepod sandwich. Oh, come on, where'd you go? See, he's starting to move around again. I guess he took a break. So I'm gonna have to keep it on lower power. And notice my cover slides full of uh, water on the upper upper part of it. So that's why you're gonna get all this blur. Let me go halfway. Yeah, I I, I don't like that. It just doesn't give you any uh, any leeway. And you can see my even my even my. Uh, I ordered a, a sheet of polarized paper, thought it'd make my life easier. And it was, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. It, I got free shipping, so it took two weeks to get here. And when it came in, it's not good for microscopes <laughs> because it's got microscopic scratches in it. You can even see as I move it around, you could see it. You know, in an ideal world, you don't want to see that. See that moving back and forth? You want that to be perfectly clear. So it's 10 bucks, but it's doing its job. It's letting us see this Cyclops here. Let's see, beam, blush. I'm gonna take off the polarizer and I'm gonna go to regular light. And then we're gonna try some filters while we have 11 people here. Now this is a lot different than Reddit. On Reddit, sometimes I can get 7,000 people for a half hour, okay? Uh, the difference is Reddit, yeah, and if I ask for donations on Reddit and I'll, you know, post it up there, you know, each stream I make a couple of bucks, you know. Uh, I had somebody send me $50 one time, you know. I'm not going to hide donations from you, but every once in a while uh, you get uh, $5 somebody sent. Most of them are a dollar, $2, uh, $4, $3, stuff like that. So on Reddit you get a lot of that. Uh, each stream, I might get $8 for an hour stream just for doing nothing. You know, just for asking, hey, uh, you, you know, you like my content, throw me a couple of bucks. And they, they will, you know, and then I'll buy equipment with it. Uh, but on YouTube, when I stream, 11 viewers watching for a half hour is going to go to my 4,000 hours. And then... Eventually, I won't have to ask for donations, you know, because uh, it's going to be monetized. And just by watching the ad, uh, just by watching the ad, you can uh, uh, help me make some money. So, And you don't even have to watch the whole ad. Even if it plays for a few seconds, I think that translates into a few pennies. If somebody happens to watch the ad, that's even more. And then if somebody... Uh, clicks on it, that's even more. So let's see what slate looks like. A little black and white copepod here. Noir. Oh, that's more black and white. So YouTube pretty much has it down. Hey, who's that? <laughs> Somebody just hit me with a Venmo. Who was that? <laughs> Somebody just, I just saw it pop up. So thanks for that. I don't know how much it was, but even if it's a, even if it's a dollar, I appreciate it. That, that makes me happy because I've been on here an hour, you know, uh, I, uh, I rescued a cat and everything and somebody just 
Paid me a biology fee. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I tried that. When I hold it down on it, it does nothing. When I'm on my regular camera app on my iPhone, it lets me hold it down and focus, of course. Okay? Um, so it just will not let it, uh, what you would call um, lock, focus lock. I'm just going through some of these. Oh, this is called dream. <laughs> this is called document. CP is always a pretty one, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to research. Oh yeah, Uber Nick, go watch the video on YouTube. I rescued a cat from the middle of a busy highway yesterday. Yeah, and uh, it was insane. I mean. It, the cat weighed about a pound and it's I, I would say five or six weeks old and I almost ran over go watch the video for the first time in six months I was able to use my uh get some use out of my uh dash cam <laughs> and actually that video got real popular already I posted it on reddit and I posted it to my facebook page and everything and people are going to it. So it's counting for some views. Everything counts. So that cat is going to help me get to 4,000 hours. That's why I'm keeping the cat. <laughs> the cat. The cat's going to pay, pay her own way. Yeah, the cat's going to pay her own way this time. So I'm going to be streaming that cat. I'm not proud. I'll stream a cat. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know what what a reel is, but I did. I edited it down. It's just one minute, I think. So yeah, I kept the cat. So um, yeah, I am. I'm a. I'm a. That cat. I didn't think about it. I didn't think about putting him on here till my wife said, "Do you, you know." how did you see the cat in the middle of the road? And I said, I don't know, I just did. And I said, wait a minute, I have it on the webcam. I mean webcam, on my dash cam. And I went and got it, and sure enough, and when, you, when you're, when I'm driving at real speed, if you didn't know it was there, you're not going to see that cat. And it was right in the path of my tire. And I swerve, you could see me swerve and pull over. Yeah, you see, Tom, that's what I just said. How I saw that cat is just, you know, unreal. It just shows I'm an attentive driver. You know, I'm always looking, and I'm also like animals, and, and it just, it was just there. And you could see when I pulled over, I knew it from the start. There was no way I could stop in time. If I would have slammed on my brakes, I would have squished it. So yeah, that's a good video. And I'm gonna post updates on the cat. It's not micro, I'm trying to build my microscope page, but that counts. That's an animal. <laughs> so. This is, somebody was asking earlier, this is duckweed right here. Uh, decaying duckweed, really. I'm gonna go back to normal on this guy right here. So this is normal, no polarization. And I can go to dark field with no polarization. And you can see in dark field, the way the light bends, you can see his red eye also. But you can see dark field is a little more blurry. So it's probably not worth it for this guy. What was that? Somebody said something about Instagram. Let me see that. Real is for Instagram. Same kind. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to, I have an Instagram account. I'm going to go rename it Ken Skid 2001 and I'm going to start posting to that. That seems like it's a lot of uh, uh, stuff on Instagram that people can make some, some dough off of. And if I sound like I'm all money, about money, look, I mean, I've been working since I was 14 years old. Uh, I'm 58 now. All right. That's a long time. I, I'm, I'm ready to make some money 
by doing what I love to do. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start that. Uh, yeah, Protozoa Man Ken, I'll do that. I'm going to go to Instagram and see if, if I – I'm not big on Instagram, so even if I have to start a new one, it's not going to be any big detriment. Yeah, I mean, you know, and look, every penny that you guys give me goes to supplies. I mean, I buy, you know, slides, cover sheets, and when, you, when you're talking supplies, you know, $10 will get me 200 cover sheets, okay, cover slips. The thing about cover slips is if you're good at what you do, you, you use one and throw it away, okay, because once it's got water drops on it or anything or fingerprints, it, it obscures your subject, okay? So you throw it away. So you can go through cover slips. And believe me, before I stream, I'm here an hour uh, gathering specimens and seeing what y'all might like to see and what you might not like to see, cleaning some out where I can don't have a lot of goop in the picture. So I'm always doing something. And I might use 10 cover slips just to get where we are right now. And if you look, remember, you see that, see that stuff right there, that, that film? That's actually on my cover slip. And that cover slip I didn't even touch. It's just goop that gathers on it. So, so all of that is making the picture a little worse. <laughs> so, so that's why you got to use a new one. Yeah, I was able to buy some supplies. Uh, like I said, I, I, I'm not officially crowdsourcing a, 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 a DIC microscope at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate on building this YouTube channel. So, uh, but if if I get enough interest in YouTube and, and I get return visitors, I'll, I'll, I'll put up a fund. And like I said, I'm willing to borrow half as an investment and and get crowdsourced for half. Somebody was asking if these things are flat right here. And if you look at this one right here, you could see how this is a rotifer. You remember that? Who was here and saw that shell we were looking at earlier? This is what that shell is from right here, this guy. Let me see if I can... And if you look at him, and somebody was asking, is he 3D or is he flat like that shell? If you look at him, I think right now we're looking at him kind of from the top. But if you look at him, when he turns, you can see that he's, he almost looks thin. See, right? Almost like a turtle looking. Yeah, that would be the bat plane. This is, this is the shell of that bat plane right here. And he's, you know, he's, He's, he's in a safe spot for him, but a bad spot for us. But so he's got like a little hump on his back, almost like a turtle shape. Yeah, see? So, but when he's flat, uh, he looks flat. Like if he would lay out flat, you would think he was flat. And he, this is very, he's very, very small compared to that shell we saw because this is 150X right here, and this is like 400. Now look, you see how he turned? That's how you saw his shell. Watch. Y'all just saw it when he turned sideways. Thanks, Jordan. I've been on a while too. It took you long enough to get here. <laughs> but I've been streaming this. This is gonna be a, a, a good long, this is gonna get me hours, 15, 20 hours of viewing time. Yeah, rotifers are an animal, just like, you know, uh, you know, insects are from the animal kingdom. You know, insects are considered animals. Uh, they have kingdom insecta, but they're still animals. Uh, that crustacean we were looking at, that cyclops we were looking at, that's an animal. That's a crustacean. He's more related to like a shrimp. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Uber Nick. I don't know. I think you got to... Uh, uh, subscribe and click the bell to get notified as these. I doubt seriously I'm being shadow banned. <laughs> Most people that have political content 
sometimes they will get shadow banned and only their subscribers see them. But I don't think, uh, I don't think uh, that'll, that'll do, you know, I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, somebody said, let me, you know what? Let me go ahead and, uh, yeah, good, thanks. Let me, I'm gonna I'm a zoom out here. Let me get up for one second. I'm gonna go share this link on, since I'm gonna be here about another 15 minutes, I'm gonna go get a mouthful of almonds and then I'm gonna uh, go share this on uh, Reddit. There you go, making all kind of racket. Sorry about that. Yeah, Uber Link. Yeah, the internet's crazy, huh? <laughs> now, this is a different kind of rotor for right here. This is what most people think of as a real rotor for right here. Hang on, I gotta chew my food. <laughs> So this is your standard rotor for. Hey, Gingerbread. Thanks, yeah, I just posted this. Somebody suggested I post it on, on my channel. So uh, I just posted, so sorry about that. But right now it's a rotor for under some duckweed. <laughs> I call this rotor for under duckweed. Um, and I'm not going to stick with him because he's in a bad spot. Um, something just punched him in the head. You saw that? This is a different kind of rotifer right here. And let me see what I can do. Watch this. So see this rotifer right here? Let's try this experiment. See how he looks flat on top? And then he has, you can't really see as detailed of his little spikes outside of his face. Let's go ahead and compare him to that skeleton 
that we saw earlier. Well, not a skeleton, but a shell. And let's, there's our copa pot. Um, there's water in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another drop of water in a minute. But let me see, oh, all right, we know he's on here. Let me try to stick to one thing, my ADD showing. Let me try to find that shell. And what you have to do is go up and down. Wow, where'd these guys come from? Thanks, Arthur. All right, you got, you got some kind of flatworm on the left, maybe a planarian. Thanks, Archie. You got planarians and you got a uh, aliosoma. I knew he was on there, but I'm looking for my... I'm looking for that little shell. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to them in a minute. I'm trying to get, try to accomplish something here. I'm always going from one thing to the other. So let me see if I can, and if I can't, if it doesn't jump out at me, I'm just gonna go back to, I wanna see those flatworms, see if I can identify them. Yep, nope, okay, let's see what we have over here. Now where'd they go? Paramecium I got. You know where they might have came from when I added that new water? You can see I just put another drop of water. Those worms might have came when I, when I added that drop of water a few minutes ago. Okay, I'm going to go about 10 more minutes because uh, I got to pick up my granddaughter. But if you look, these are two aliosomas. Uh, these are segmented worms, annelids. Uh, good guys, good girls, um, because they're not parasites. You know, you could dig in the mud and get these on your fingers and, and that's fine. They're not gonna hurt you. That's our friendly paramecium. This slide ended up having a lot of stuff on it. This is a flat worm over here, but I'm not exactly sure what it it doesn't look like a planarian and he's moving kind of fast for me to get a good grip on so let me see let me see if i can see his eyes ah. not today where you at Looks like he might be dividing too. See how he's got one end of him's not moving right? And now I made the water too deep. I'm trying to see, see the back of him, how it kind of stiffens up right there? He's not injured. I'm, I'm wondering if, he, if he's gonna start to divide right there. I don't know how that works. But yeah, he's surely a, yeah, he's fast. He is fast. Hey, Dr. Markin, Markaron. I'm trying to read all these names. Yeah, if you're coming over from Reddit, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, post this on Reddit earlier. So somebody suggested I do that and I ran in and did it. <laughs> so thanks. So I've been streaming. I have to uh, hit the road in a few minutes, but uh, yeah, planaria-ish, <laughs> it sure is. And so this slide has so much on it, but he's caught in a current. <laughs> okay, here's one of those flat things again. Look, uh, that's a rotifer right here that we were talking about. He's out in the open. So you can see when he turns to the side, he's a little thinner than when he's flat. And I just put one drop of water and look at it. <laughs> it looks like a flood. <laughs> it's insane. All right, I think I'm gonna end it with this guy here. Uh, you wanna end with the 
Cyclops or a worm? Let's have a vote. First, first five people, majority wins. Cyclops or worm to end the video with? One for Cyclops, two for Cyclops. If the next one's a Cyclops, we end with Cyclops. There you go. All right, unanimous. <laughs> Worms. <laughs> they don't get no respect. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and it's been raining down here. Actually, I don't want to put a damper on anything, but... They had a car accident two blocks from my house. We have canals here, above ground canals. Well, in ground canals that don't have covering on them. And two, two ladies, 27 years old, crashed and their car turned upside down and went in it. Ugh. So I don't like to be a downer, but somebody said drive safe. But we're down here where I am, you have water on all sides of you all the time. You know, it's good and bad to have water around you. I'm always, you know, a half a mile from getting a handful of uh, uh, these creatures, but I'm always a half a mile from going into a ditch. And, you know, you take your mind off the road and you're done. But anyway, look, so if you can watch a couple of my videos, uh, get me to 4,000 hours. I'll post a little while later on Reddit where we stand. And if you can... Uh, uh, subscribe and get notified. And look, I'm going to, I'm going to try maybe, maybe tonight. I'm almost finished my quiz. It's about 14 questions. And I use my own graphics from these people, from these things that I'm streaming. I'm going to add some questions from today about the Cyclops and maybe the worm and stuff like that. And, and, oh yeah, <laughs> I'll plug the cat. And then, uh, I'm going to post the, the video, and the video of the, the uh, quiz might be, let's say it's 15 minutes. Well, if everybody takes the quiz and chats in the chat and everything like that, I'll get some views. That's how you got to do it. I'm learning about YouTube. So take that test when it pops up, and look at my cat video that I put on earlier today. I rescued a cat from the middle of a six-lane highway. Now, it does have a neutral ground or a median in the middle, so three lanes of highway. I found a uh, about a five week old cat in the middle of the road. Got out, had it on my webcam, on my uh, camera, and went and posted it this morning. So go check that out. Okay, I'm gonna go about one more minute. Thanks, and I have some other ideas for inter interactive videos. Uh, I'm gonna save my other idea. Till later, I'm not gonna announce. Everybody does quizzes, and the other one will be quiz related, but it's a little different take on the quiz, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna go check out Instagram also. Yeah, thanks, Tracy. Yeah, when I when I left the post on Reddit, I actually got a mouthful of almonds. <laughs> so. All right. I'm going to go about 30 seconds and say see y'all later. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I'll answer any questions later on the chat.